Hello everyone, today I have a Sharp TV, it's a LC50P600-3U and it has a black screen but it has sound. When you press the power button it just blinks a little bit in standby but there's no picture. In this channel I do repair lots of uh, electronic devices so if you're interested in fixing things uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, to do this repair uh, first you have to take off the back panel and there's two little cables that you would disconnect and here are the boards this is the power supply board and here's the code in case you need to order them i usually order the boards on um, tvparts.ca and the other one was the main board and this is the tcom board the first thing that i do is check the backlights with this issue it's either a power supply or your backlights. 90% of the time it's your backlights. I have an LED tester and it uh, uses about 300 volts and, and then it selects the correct voltage and it's not even changing. So this means that it is indeed a backyard uh, light issue. You want to disconnect your TCOM board from the LCD panel. It has these little ribbon cables. You just flip the black clip down and then take them off. There's a little tape onto this uh, circuit board that goes to the LCD. And um, Sharp TVs are well put together. They glue lots of things, so you have to disconnect the glue. And then I'm taking off the plastic bezel on the front of the TV. There are about uh, eight screws at the bottom that you take off, and then it has these little clips that you can just cl uh, pry them up. And then along the side, I'm just using a guitar pick and the clips come off as well. So this will take off the plastic bezel on the front of the TV and then we can start removing the screen. To remove the screen, flip the little uh, plastic parts on top of the screen and before we can remove the screen, again, sharp TVs, they glue lots of things together so they're more sturdy than other TVs. Just using a playing card, like uh, using a sawing motion, you can remove the glue there. And then I'm using some suction cups that I got from Canadian Tire that help me to remove the screen. Just put it on a, a cloth. I just use a, a bed sheet. And then underneath that, there's this other plastic bezel that you need to remove. And th then we can remove off the filter pages paper. The filters I tape them together with electrical tape. I like to use electrical tape because it's not so sticky. And then there are these little plastic holders that we need to, that are screwed down, so unscrew them. You don't need to take off those plastic holders because they're actually glued to the plastic sheets there. And then we can remove the white uh, paper underneath and remove that as well. Underneath here are the LEDs. They're three volts each on this model. And I'm testing each strip using my LED tester. You can see the bottom strip is okay. And uh, the second one wasn't working. Here's the third one is working. And then the fourth one. So there's definitely an issue here on the second row. So I'm gonna have to test each LED individually by using the plus and minus. There's a little contact points is where you can test them and I just went through them all and I found one LED that didn't work. So I'm just going to remove the filter and you can see the little black dot on that LED there. So I'm going to remove it. This is the fastest method I found was just cutting off the top layer and then we have access to the pads. I put liquid solder and then I will use a heat gun and here's the repair, the new LED. The little small pad is plus and the big pad is minus. So I'm just putting it on there. If you do not have a heat gun, you can do this repair just using a normal soldering iron, just tacking it on. But this method is much faster. And I just tested to make verify everything's working. Using some shoe glue, I'm gluing back the filter on top of that LED. That disperses the light so it's evenly on your screen. And then we want to test, verify that everything's working before you put it together. So you just plug in the power cord and then reconnect the power button. And that's that little cable that we first disconnected. 
and see if the lights turn on. You can see the bright lights are on, everything is working. So this is verifying that the back lights are repaired. And now all we have to do is put everything back together, which is the same process that we removed it, just putting back the filter pack uh, paper, then putting back the filters, removing the tape, and then putting the plastic bezel that holds those filters on to the TVs. Then reconnecting the LCD screen, flipping down those uh, parts. You can see they even tape the ribbon cables, so that's a good job by uh, Sharp. Then reconnecting the TCOM board, and there you go. You can see the TV is working, it says Sharp, and the HDMI testing it out, making sure it has sound. You can see I'm just playing a DVD. So that was the issue. It was a backlight, and only one uh, a light only costs a dollar, and you can repair your TV. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.